Throughout the year, we've provided the breaking new details on some of the biggest watchdog stories from Republicans and others voicing concerns about the so-called militarization of the IRS to the human waste challenge in San Francisco and Ivy League funding. Joining us this morning to recap some of their 2023 investigations is CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Andrzejewski. It's great to have you this morning, Adam. Uh, first, break down your findings on how much members of federal agencies spend on guns, ammunition, and military-style equipment. Well, after amassing legal power, the federal government has put together a lot of firepower. Since 2006, there's been 103 federal agencies that have purchased $3.7 billion worth of guns, ammunition, and military-style equipment, and that's outside of the Department of Defense. In fact, there are 76 rank-and-file, paper-pushing, traditional regulatory agencies like the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, like the EPA, like Health and Human Services and the Social Security Administration that have armed up. As a matter of fact, we won some big legislative victories in the U.S. House this year. Uh, the IRS has to complete an audit of its gun locker and show the American people the firepower that it's purchased. And the House Appropriations Bill on the EPA has stripped the 200 EPA special agents of arrest and firearm authority and their ability to purchase guns, ammunition, and military-style equipment. I want to bring up something that was uh, trending. A lot of people talking about this. It was literally a waste of the week, Adam. You're open the books. San Francisco mapping of human waste on city streets recently trended on X, formerly Twitter, and was a key moment in the Governor DeSantis versus Governor Newsom debate. In real time, are things getting better or worse? Well, they're aggressively getting worse in this city of San Francisco. So in the red state, blue state debate, the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, he held up a picture of our 2019 map of human waste on the city streets in San Francisco. And yes, we did use brown pins. There was a brown out in the Bay Area. And when he held up that map, we immediately updated the numbers over the course of the next 12 hours through October of this year. And in, on the 2019 map, there was 31,000 cases of human waste on city streets. Today, Didi, that number is north of 35,000. Staying on funding, uh, but moving to uh, schools, Adam, recently you found that the Ivy League and other wealthy institutions get more federal money than what they collect in undergraduate student tuition. Break down those numbers. So the Ivy League today is more federal contractor than they are educator. We took a look at 10 schools, the eight schools of the Ivy League plus Stanford and Northwestern. And over the course of the past five years, those schools have collected $45 billion at taxpayer expense. That's federal taxpayer subsidies, special uh, tax treatment on their endowments and investments and federal contracts and grants. If you break that number down, there was $33 billion worth of federal payments on contracts and grants, and that number exceeded the amount collected on undergraduate student tuition. And then, DD, you got $12 billion to the university benefit on special tax treatment. They only pay 1.4% on the gains within their endowments where wealthy Americans pay up to 23.4% capital gains tax. During the pandemic, when federal employees worked from home, you found the Fed spent $3.3 billion in furniture. Tell us more about how you got to that massive number and what your research indicates they were buying. So this is a prime example of the federal government agencies penchant for use it or lose it spending. Congress keeps appropriating budgets like on office furniture during a pandemic and the agencies kept spending a billion dollars a year during the pandemic. We quantified 3.3 billion and here's some examples of what was purchased. The State Department purchased $120,000 worth of very expensive Ethan Allen leather recliners. You had the CDC, Centers for Disease Control, they purchased a quarter million dollars worth of solar powered picnic tables. CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Andjewski, thanks for joining us. Have a great new year. Thank you.